As prolific as free Wi-Fi has gotten, it seems like somehow when you most need it, it's not available. Or maybe the problem is that you just often find yourself needing to use your laptop out in the middle of nowhere. Fortunately, most smartphones and cellular-enabled tablets these days support tethering. And no, I'm not talking about that dorky holster that came with your phone case. Tethering is the act of routing your phone or tablet's cellular data connection to another device, such as a laptop. Tethering can be accomplished via a USB cable or even wirelessly, which effectively turns your phone into a personal Wi-Fi hotspot. So then how do you make this happen? Well, assuming you've got a strong cellular signal, you can enable tethering on iOS simply by going into the Settings app and enabling the Personal Hotspot option. On Android, you'll go to the Wireless and Network Settings, tap More, and find Tethering and Portable Hotspot. If you're tethering with USB, you might need to connect your cable before some of the relevant options will become available. But if you're using Wi-Fi, a bit of additional setup is still required. Just like a home router, you'll need to enter a name or SSID for your hotspot so your computer will know what the heck to connect to, and optionally, a password, though I would definitely recommend doing this and securing your connection, preferably with WPA2 security. If you don't, anyone in range can use your hotspot so they could run up your data bill or even potentially see what it is that you're doing. You can also tether via Bluetooth, but due to its low maximum speed, I'd recommend against it unless you have no other choice for some reason. Once you've followed these steps and connected to your hotspot on your second device via the usual process, you're pretty much good to go. But tethering does come with a few caveats, the most obvious being that you're going to be limited by how fast your cellular network is. And although LTE connections that can get to 100 megabits per second or more are becoming commonplace these days, your real speed might top out far below what you're used to at home if you aren't getting an optimal signal. You also might be fighting data limits imposed by your mobile provider. Even carriers that promise unlimited everything sometimes have a separate cap for tethering and or they severely throttle your speed once you use a certain amount of data, often much lower than what your home ISP allows. And this assumes that your cellular plan even allows tethering at all. If you bought your phone directly from a carrier, they may have hidden away the tethering options or even gone as far as to disable them outright unless you pay a monthly fee. So be sure to check the fine print whenever you sign up for a mobile plan. Although, some resourceful users have found ways around carrier restrictions by jailbreaking or rooting their phones, which you can learn more about up here, or even installing special apps that hide exactly how much data is being consumed from tethering from their providers. This particular practice caught the ire of T-Mobile back in 2015 when some users were found to be consuming as much as two terabytes of data per month. But even if you do have a cell plan that doesn't place onerous restrictions on tethering, you may want to pick up a portable battery bank if you're planning to tether for any lengthy period of time, as pushing all that data through your phone can drain it quickly, especially if you're doing it over Wi-Fi, which requires even more power to blast a wireless signal to your other devices which is really inconvenient if you're stuck somewhere like Fire Festival and your iPhone is your only conduit to the outside world. Speaking of conduits to the outside world, Tunnel Bear VPN lets you tunnel through up to 20 different countries, allowing you to browse the internet and use online services as though you are some anonymous bloke or bloquette in some other freaking country. They have easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, also a Chrome extension. And all you gotta do is just choose a country in the app, press like one button, and watch as your connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption and your public IP address gets switched. So you show up as if you are in that other country.
They also have a top rated privacy policy and do not log user activity. So if you're looking to keep your internet connection private, you can try out TunnelBear VPN with 500 megs of free data and no credit card required at the link in the video description. Then when you upgrade to unlimited data, you can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. So thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, well, you can do that. And if you disliked it, well, you can do that. And if you want to check out our other channels, we've got links to those. If you want to leave a comment with a video suggestion, you can do that. And if you want to subscribe, well, hey, here's a big internet hug for you. Oh, that was kind of long. That, was, that wasn't really a Just Friends hug, was it?